what's going on everybody so today we're going to take a look at a very cool watch this is the formex essence 39 millimeter and just look at that dial this thing reflects light like nothing else man this is this is a great watch so let's get right into the specs and features of this watch and then we'll talk more about the other kind of uh patented cool stuff that's going on with this watch so this watch has a 39 millimeter case diameter it is 10.42 millimeters thick it has a 45.67 millimeter lug to lug and a 20 millimeter lug width it is powered by an sw 200-1 cosc certified movement yes this is a chronometer this is that's a plus for this when you hear what the price is it has 100 meters of water resistance it has a sapphire crystal obviously on the front and the back of the seek through case back um three o'clock signed non screw down crown the bracelet starts 20 millimeters, tapering down to 18 to the fully milled butterfly style clasp. It The bracelet is held together with screw pins and this is one of the most comfortable bracelets. It's, it's very cool. Um, also, there is a little hidden trick here. Pull this down on the side of the bracelet, you get yourself an extra maybe couple of millimeters of of extension there so that's kind of cool on your days where your wrist swells you just pop that off and bang right um, so let's take a look at the case back as you can see it says sapphire crystal formex stainless steel essence sapphire crystal 100 meters of water resistance and you're probably looking at that and going what's all the screws and the and the stuff on the back of that. Well, we'll talk about that later. I also want you to notice how the bracelet has quick release pins on it. That's that's awesome also. So this watch has a very cool feature, which is patented, Formex patented this. It's called the case suspension system. And the, the movement and the watch is separate from the case. So if your wrist is flexing, it'll and I can feel it flex when I wear this sucker sometimes, especially if you're moving it in weird angles and stuff, it'll pop up and flex and it's it makes it very comfortable. Um so yeah, that's kind of cool. The negative part is is it will catch hairs in there. It will catch it can ca obviously if you pop something up and put something under there, it'll catch it. So you can't get stuff caught in, in that case there. But other than that, that doesn't happen very often. But other than that, it's very cool that it can do that. Um, take a look at the dial because the dial is the star of the show on here. That blue with the horizontal striping, the lines in there is very cool. The, you get the Formex, it says Formex at the 12 with their logo, um, standard stick indexes. It says essence chronometer at the six and the date below it. It's a fantastic watch. The polishing on this, the finishing on this is awesome. And it only costs $1,500. Now, $1,500 is a lot of money. Um, but for a chronometer, for a Swiss made chronometer with this level of finishing and build quality that's a deal all day long that's a crazy deal all day long the only thing i wish they would have so i think they had i want to say it was a 43 was their other essence and then they dropped it down to 39 i wish they would have went a little bit bigger maybe offered a 40 or 41 and the reason i say that is is if you look at this it's 39 here right but then it tapers up and the crystal is a lot smaller. I don't even know what the diameter on that is. Let me check. Let me get, let me check what it is. 
so it's 29, right? And the crystal, the dial, it can make the watch look smaller than it is. I think if they would have bumped the case size, everything up a millimeter or two, it'd be perfect. This is a sweet watch. And I think it is uh, better than possibly the 43 millimeter. However, maybe they should have just gone down one or two, you know, keep it about 40, 41. But that's just my opinion. I don't know, maybe they're already in the works of that, but other than that, it's, it's and again, that's an opinion. That's not anything on the build quality or the value of this watch, which this watch has in spades. So let's get a loom shot and see what that looks like. All right, guys, so there it is. Um, pretty standard, uh, you know, indexes, hands loomed, and everything, you know, no fancy, they're just standard stick hands, stick uh, indexes, so. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure how long it, it lasts. Uh, I, I don't know, but it does have loom and it's pretty cool. So let's go back and get some final thoughts. All right, guys, so there it is, the Formex Essence Chronometer. Guys, are you familiar with Formex? What do you think about the watches they make? I think they're fantastic fantastic build quality and they offer very good value for money fifteen hundred dollars and that's including taxes tags ship they put all on the website duties whatever they pay for all that fifteen hundred dollars shipped to your door for a swiss made chronometer with some crazy patented case suspension thing and the whole yeah it's just it's just all around a great watch so there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.